And here we are. We got the 71 dunk vert frame. We got the Fab 9. We got the Viking coilovers. Got the trick chassis anti roll. Got the custom Fab uppers. Custom Fab lowers. Got adjustable boxes. We have plenty of adjustment to get this car to hook. Plenty of adjustment. All the boxes on the car side, rear end side, fully adjustable. Rear end is all braced up. The frame is a semi gloss. No sense in going full gloss on the frame. It'll be under the car, catching debris and shit like that. The semi will hide and stay looking cleaner than a high gloss. So yes, bolted in the rear end in last night. Everything's just, you know, sat in there, bolted in. Of course, we had to use the rubber mallet to tap the bolts through due to the powder coat inside the holes. Some holes, everything went right together. Some holes were a little tighter. A tight hole is always good. <laughs> Keep it clean. Anyways, <laughs> front suspension, bare brakes. QA1 uppers, QA1 lowers, like some coil lowers. Everything is basically just set together right now. Bear brakes, when you buy the big brakes from Bear, you get the spindle. Everything comes together. Everything comes already shimmed. It's all set, the caliper's on there, boom. So that's a plus with spending this much money on brakes. That is a plus. 16 inch, I think 16. Maybe 15. Don't quote me. Uh, we got the brand new steering gearbox, which there's the name of it right there. We got this through Winter Circle. Now the thing is, everything we were looking up about the gearbox, there was no sense in putting the old box on it, taking the old box, blasting it, coating it, this and that. Buy the new block, uh, new box. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Probably could clear it, but. Not what I do. Um, the ratio of this box, we didn't get the exact number, but it's supposed to be faster. I think it's one and a half turns of the steering wheel. So one and a half. So that's pretty fast compared to what it was stock. And what it was stock, I think, was closer to like 16 to 1. But I don't know. This one didn't have it in the paper of what the ratio was of this box. But brand new box on there. Um, we're going to use the stock steering arm for now, but later on, we'll probably do the Flaming River joints. We can make our own shaft. The column, I do believe, is getting changed in the car. I'm not sure. But the Flaming River joints that go on there that are sealed, uh, they look good. They work well. And then you can, you know, the, the shaft don't have to be a double shaft. or Anyways, like the G-bodies when they change from a G-body shaft to a Jeep shaft, you know, it's an easier fit. It, it's tied up against stuff so that way you don't have problems with headers and stuff like that. Whatever. So, but yeah. As you can see, the frame is coming along. So I'm working on the frame. I'm working on the orange Chevy. I'm working on Sebastian's Chevy. I'm working on uh, a rear, a couple rear ends at the same time. I actually have one sitting over here. Right over here in this corner. This is out of a dunk. I have to gut this thing, clean it up, gut it, and narrow it. And I have the axles waiting to be picked up. I haven't picked up the axles yet. And I'm waiting on a set of studs. So I got a whole bunch of little things going on, but as you can see, knocking them down. Two of them are my buddy's cars, obviously the OBS and the Cutlass that's in the back, the 70 uh, SX 455 car. So there's only six customers' cars over here. And like I said, the dunk is simple. That 73, I just gotta get it on the lift. Once it's on the lift, I can have it done in a couple days and he can come get it. That one gets out of here, boom. Like I said, again, I'm giving up this side because 
I don't need it. I don't need it. I mean, for frame builds like this, but I'm not going to be doing... If somebody wants to do, me to do a frame build like this, this year, they're going to have to bring me the frame completely, uh, completely bare, and I'll do all the notch and brace and all that, um, sand it, get it coated, and then I'll have to buy all the control arms and all that stuff, and then I can make it a rolling frame, and they can take it back, and then they can put it on. I'm not getting into big jobs like that. The bigger the job, the less money. So, anyways. But, there's the dunk frame. It's raw business. It's getting put together. And, a lot of people, if you don't know, seeing these wheels in the background. <laughs> these are my wheels for the Trailblazer. But, again, I have no time. Yeah, it's shitty weather anyways. But, I gotta fix a couple things on the trunk. Power steering line. Uh, do my alignment in the front. Put my coilovers in the front. But, how am I going to look if I bust my shit out and not get, you know, a customer's car out? So, so yeah, that's what that is. I know other shops do that. You know, they get their car all ready and do things and this and that while their customer's cars are sitting, but I don't do that. But maybe I should do that. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting. But all right, y'all. My longest video ever so hopefully people want to listen to me and pay attention pay attention we know that everything that we built on in this frame clears the body we were worried about these side braces right here but i'm pretty sure i checked it all out on the body and it's going to clear so the underneath of the body is still supposed to be getting painted but i don't know what's going on with that we got the back three bolts that were broke off in the frame for the body that were here. I believe it was those two on that side and the one that was here were broke off in the car. We were able to weld a nut to them, which heated it up too, and then used the impact to get them to come out. So now all the bolt holes are good on the body side. For the frame to attach back on there, we have the brand new bushings and we have the brand new bolts to put it back on there. So, all right, y'all, there it is. Angle 10, bedded up customs. Uh, Fab 9, 71 Burt frame, full custom. Probably the best frame yet to date out there underneath a dunk. Not underneath there yet, I understand that, but real shit. And there we go. Bankroll 10, Better Up Customs. Peace out. Appreciate y'all. Subscribe, like, share, and have a blessed day.